Hello guys, welcome to the channel Health Tricks and Tips in English, the best pregnancy centric channel. This video is all about bending in your pregnancy. Is it good for you or it has some adverse effect? So we will cover up everything and it is something that we will talk in terms of the trimester. Is bending of any sort fine in first trimester, second trimester and third trimester. So let's start with the first trimester. So guys, first trimester may be of concern if your pregnancy is not normal or you have some problem like bleeding or you have some earlier history of miscarriages. So these types of pregnancies are known as high risk pregnancies. So your doctor will tell you if you are at the high risk or you are advised to have the proper bed rest. In case your doctor has told you to have a complete bed rest, it means you need to be on the bed, take all the rest and so the bending is also prohibited for you in the first trimester that is the first, second and the third month of the pregnancy. But in case your pregnancy is going smooth, you can definitely do all the activities because this is the time when the baby is so tiny and there is no harmful effect on the baby whatever you are doing in your first trimester. So you can do all your normal tasks very efficiently. This is because the baby is well protected inside the womb by the amniotic sac. So if your pregnancy is smooth, definitely you can bend and do your task. Same goes with the second trimester. Second trimester means fourth, fifth and the sixth month of your pregnancy. If your doctor has asked you to take the complete bed rest, that means still you have to take the precautions. You need to understand that you're not doing any activities that ask you to bend. You should refrain from all these activities but in case your pregnancy is smooth everything is going fine so in that case also you do not need to bother that much you can bend and there will be no harmful effect on the baby but now as you are progressing to your third trimester that is the seventh eighth and the ninth month now the baby is gaining size he is getting bulkier he is gaining the weight and the height and ultimately there are a lot of things that you need to take care of so this time the bending is not at all advisable. When you bend in your third trimester, there are a lot of chances. The chances are higher that you can abrupt your placenta or there could be some sort of rupture anywhere in the amniotic sac as well. So this time you need to be highly proactive that you're not performing any activities that ask you to bend because bending this time abruptly or suddenly or without taking precaution can lead to bleeding and ultimately miscarriage or the preterm labor problem. The number second reason why you should not bend in your third trimester is because it actually enhances the acid reflux in the body and due to which you can have the problem of heartburn. So when you bend actually the acids of the body come to the neck level and then you can have the problem of acidity and heartburn. So again this is a very very bad problem. You should not invite these type of problem by bending. The third reason you should not bend is because it can give you the pain on your back or on your waist. So it ultimately builds up a pressure on your waist area and also the already weakened ligaments can be impacted very easily. So you could face the problem like knee inflammation or the ligament problems. So you should avoid bending in your third trimester. Now the last reason why you should not bend in your third trimester is that when you bend the blood flow to the head increases and due to the increased blood flow you can have headache problem or you can faint and this will ultimately disbalance you and you will fall and when you will fall there could be n number of results that are not at all desired so bleeding can happen miscarriage can happen placenta abruption can happen a lot of things that are not good can happen when you are bending in your third trimester so friend ultimately you need to understand that when it is your third trimester that is the seventh eighth or ninth month you have to be extra cautious you should not do any activity, physical activity that is asking you to bend. But in case you have to bend, then you have to take it very, very slowly, slowly. You have to bend, take the support of something, then only bend slowly, slowly. And after performing the activity, you should get up very slowly, slowly. This you need to take care of in your third trimester. So when this was all in this video, I hope you have understood the whole context of bending and not bending in your pregnancy. If you are the first time visitor of the channel, do not forget to press the subscribe button as well. So friends, let's catch up in another video on pregnancy. Till then, stay happy, stay healthy.